Chip Bell has delivered more than a thousand keynote addresses to audiences that include numerous Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies. He has written six national and international best-selling books and is considered one of the industry's foremost authorities on customer loyalty and service innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, Chip Bell. Innovative service, because I think it's a special opportunity and a special challenge for employees and for leaders. You know, uh, it wasn't that long ago that a large brokerage firm decided to have fun with a phone system. You know the one where you punch two if you want this, punch three if you want this. They decided to add punch eight if you want to hear a duck quack. Over a million people called to hear the dang duck. In fact, it was overwhelming their system. They had to finally take it out. Now, there's an important point there. And that is, I think customers today are bored. The good news is, it doesn't take a lot to entertain a lot of them. <laughs> so what's the reason why we need to focus on innovative service? Well, let me tell you, folks, in a tough economic times, value added gets right pricey. When you think of, I'm going to take what the customer expects and add more, if you think about it linearly, pretty soon you run out of room. You know that hotel that says, you're such a great guest, we're going to upgrade you to the concierge level. i got to sell that room on the concierge level. You've been so good to us, I tell you, we're going to be, we're going to upgrade you to first class. i got to sell that seat in first class. So what I'm saying is, value added has a dead end looking at it. What I want to focus with you this morning is value unique because I think you've got unlimited opportunity when you think about how do we create a unique experience, value unique. I don't want my customers to go, wow. I want them to go, whoa, I didn't expect that. I want to take their breath away. Up until a couple of years ago, my wife and I had a little uh, beach house at South Padre. Those of you unfamiliar with the state of Texas, South Padre is as far south as you can go. When we walk out in front of our little beach house, three miles to the south of us was Mexico. From Dallas to South Padre is 575 miles. It's a 10-hour drive. Texas is a very big state. And so we typically fly down to Harlingen, and rent a car, and then drive over 30 minutes. No big deal. But the first time you went, like, for two weeks, you wanted to keep your car, we drove. First time we ever drove. And it's a 10-hour drive. We left after work. We were going to spend the night halfway down, okay? So five hours is Austin. We're going to spend the night in Austin. About 8 o'clock, we're driving along. My wife says, where are we staying tonight? I said, I thought you made the reservation. Oops, fell between us. And we, she said, oh, my goodness. Well, let me get on the phone. Now, we travel with our cat, and we don't like to sneak the cat in, okay? We don't think that's fair. So she gets on the phone. She calls Marriott. Sorry, no pets. Hi, no pets. Sheridan, no pets. Hilton, no pets. Motel 6, no pets. It's looking like we're going to have to sleep in the back seat with the cat, which is not a cool idea. <laughs> Finally, my wife says, well, why don't we call the Four Seasons? I go, oh, gosh, don't go $300 a night. Don't call the Four Seasons. This is not a good precedent to set. And then the sucker question. Well, let's just call and see what they say. <laughs> well, you know what they said. We'd love to have your cat. You know, make sure you want to. We What's your cat's name? Taco. Taco Bell. Oh, wonderful. We want to make sure we bring Taco in. We want to make sure we register Taco. They make a, of course, we get there. They make a big deal out of the cat. You know, my wife's going, yes. The cat's going, yes. I'm thinking, this is not a good thing at all. We get to the room. They've already set out a serving tray with a little logoed bowl for the cat food, a little bowl for the water, a little cat toy. My wife's going, yes. The cat's going, yes. I'm still not liking this. <laughs> Surprise happened the next morning. We get that knock on the door. Room service for our breakfast. Now, Taco is an aerial cat, which means she's in the middle of everything. Knock on the door. I'm in the middle of the bed. And the room service guy walks in, and the first words out of his mouth, Good morning, Taco. <laughs> as soon as that door closed, I could hear my credit card cry. <laughs> my wife says, I'll never stay anywhere but a Four Seasons. <laughs> if the room service guy knows the name of my cat, why would I stay anywhere else? <laughs> now, how much did that cost them? How hard was that? But that's what makes it special for customers. And when I say that's the essence of take their breath away, 
It's the creative application. It's the unique application. It's the things we're all capable of that are simple and replicatable. Look for ways to say, what can I do today to surprise my customer?